Hello guys, so after my last video I got some questions, how does my game run so smooth on a pretty average and maybe even low setup comparing to what we have in the market now. So I will show you a few things I did to my settings to max out my PC performance. This will be advanced settings guide, I would assume that people playing top tier games have the basic PC optimization done and if not I will leave some links in the description from other people to check out few videos on your PC optimization depending on your operating system. So let's check what is my setup. I have RTX 260. Yes, RTX 260. More than 400% slower GPU than what we have on the market now. But as you saw, my game is running. Okay, my CPU is Ryzen 9. 3900 on the older end but not as bad as my gpu i have 32 gigs of ram before i had 16 when i started this game so i realized that on mass pvps like pvp bosses and stuff i was kind of crashing there was points where my memory was a 99 percent and i needed to restart my game so I would highly suggest that if you're planning to participate in castle sieges and mass pvp bosses and stuff like that. So that was a pretty long intro. Let's jump into what we need to do to our PC. So let's start with NVIDIA control panel. Let's go to 3D settings. Choose your program. Find your game. For now we're doing Crow and Liberty. And here you can just copy my settings. Okay, after all of this is done, let's see what programs we will need for this. We will need MSI Afterburner with River Tuner, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner, Exit Light for better ping, AMD Ryzen Master, and for extra NVIDIA settings, we will need NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Okay, so because we started with NVIDIA Control Panel, Let's just continue with NVIDIA stuff. So, at first when you launch, you have base profile. I would suggest to save it if you want to come back. You save this file, wherever it's comfortable for you. And later, if you want to import back to the same original settings, find the file, press open, apply. That's it, you're back to original settings. So, now, this is my settings, I would suggest to copy it, the same as with NVIDIA control panel.
Okay, when all of this is done, we open MSI Afterburner, go to settings and just copy everything as well. Hi, restart the software. Okay, and now we will just enable monitoring. Once that is done, let's search for Riva Tuner and we just need to enable it. The first option, second option and here in the bottom you can choose the size of monitoring and put it where you want. And that's it. So MSI Afterburner and Riva Tuner is set up, we can go into the game. Here the main thing we want to look at is megahertz and watts. Let, let the game run for a few minutes to see that megahertz is stable and not jumping up or down. We want to find the stable megahertz your PC is running. As you can see, I have 1860 megahertz and it's using 1.037 watts. What we want to do is to undervolt our GPU. You will not get any performance loss, but what you will get is lower power consumption that leads to lower temperature and more stable gaming experience. So after some time, as we can see, I have 1860 MHz and 1.050 watts. I would suggest to write these numbers down in a notepad because we will need to be changing these numbers and we need to remember where we started. So the thing we want to do here is to lower the watts. Just go down by 0.050. So we open MSI Afterburner, go to Curve Editor. So I'm going to find 1.000, hold shift and pull all of this up to 1860. Then we hold shift, we select everything after and press enter two times. It will straighten the line, go back to MSI Afterburner, click apply and exit. Now we check again, everything is good. If we go to the game, we see the game is running on 1860 MHz and using 1.00 watts. Okay, so if the game is stable, we do it again. Go to MSI, click the reset button, go again 0.050 lower. So for me, that would be 0.950 and apply the same steps. So, as we can see, the game is stable and using 0.950 watts. We do this process till our game crashes. Yes, our, till our game crashes. Don't worry. We just go to MSI, click reset and everything is back to normal. Okay, so for me the game crashed on 0.900 watts. After that you just go back to MSI, remember your megahertz and watts that it crashed on and you increase it by a little bit. 0.010, 0.015, what it lets you, the lowest amount. Now we're trying to find a watt usage that our PC can handle that our GPU is not crashing on. That's what is undervolting your GPU. Okay, so what I found 0 0.918 was stable for me. The game was running, it was not crashing, but after some tests in mass PvP, I was still crashing, so at the end, I end up with increasing it to 0.925. That is my lowest I can go for this game. Now let's go to AMD Ryzen Master. This software lets you to overclock your GPU without any risks. Well, especially if you don't know what you're doing 
and you not overclocking your PCs and BIOS and whatever. So here you just press precision boost overdrive, then just click apply and test. That's it. Your the software will do a test to your PC and will tell you can you do this or no. If it tells OK, the next time just press apply and that's it. Your PC will be overclocked but only till the PC restart. Every time you turn on your PC you have to launch the software and press apply. Once you press apply it will tell you game mode apply is success, date and time and that's it. Your PC is overclocked. And the last thing is intelligent standby list cleaner. Here you check your total system memory. Put the list size is at least 1024. Free memory is lower than half of your total memory. For me, it's 16,284. Want a time resolution is 0.5. Enable custom time resolution and set ISLC polling rate to 500 milliseconds. Then you just click Purge Standby List and click Start. And yes, that's it. Our optimization is done. There is few more things I didn't mention, so I will just leave some guides in the description to other people's video where I got this information. And I hope this video will help someone to achieve more enjoyment from this game. And have fun. See you in the battlefield.